what about motivation and how do you keep it? How do you get it? Um, how do you like fulfill your dreams and your goals and do it all with a smile on your face? Um, it can be really, really hard. You guys, I get it. Today, it's really, really exciting. So I wanna talk about the power of why. Why do you ask? <laughs> well, the biggest reason is before you do anything, weight loss related, before you set your goals, before you have your intentions, like saying, I'm gonna wake up, I'm gonna do four days of exercise, I'm gonna eat right, I'm gonna do all these things, you have to have your why. If you don't, how many of us constantly drop the ball? How many of us have been so excited when a program got started? You know, you were like, yes, like I started eating better, feeling better, you know, getting more energy. And then something just happens about like maybe a week, maybe two, maybe you make it a month. And if you make it a month, props to you. But how many of us fall down after that? A lot of people, right? Like. It is not something that is like, you're, there's something wrong with you, right? It is very common. Biggest reason I have found with my clients on why they are struggling to keep consistency is they haven't figured out the reason they're doing it. Um, I mean, if you, and I'm pretty sure all of us have been in that place where we're just like, we're frustrated, you know, we, we give it our all and we put too much energy into being healthy. And all of a sudden, you're like, nope, this is too much for me. I'm done. I give up. I can't manage this. This is so difficult. And then you just go back to doing your old habits, right? It, it's, it's such a common thing. So today, we are going to discuss why. Why do this? And this method, this technique can be used to apply to literally anything in your life, from a job promotion from the family, from your weight loss journey, anything that you want to do. Starting a business, if that's if that floats your boat. Um, so that's why I wanna talk about it. And I personally call this the onion peeling technique uh, because if you have ever seen an onion, like all of us probably have, there's different layers to it. And a lot of people have associated onions with uh, peeling back the layers of our personality or whatever to get down to like see the true you. Um, and for me, I think that this can be applied really, really strongly to fitness and health. And if you have a really big challenge, like you wanna lose like 30 plus pounds, sometimes that can be extremely intimidating, right? I mean, how many of you have gone through that? You're like, I know what I need to do but I just can't get myself to do it no matter what I do. No matter how much I try, I feel like I'm doing something right and then I just can't maintain it and it just falls to pieces. Um, and something like 30 pounds, well, that takes a long time. Like it is not an easy situation. It's something that's gonna take six months, maybe longer for you to accomplish. How can you have motivation for six months? especially if it's something that you don't enjoy. Like if you don't truly enjoy exercise or you find it a really hard struggle when you have your family and your kids and you know, you, you can't eat the stuff that they eat, you feel like you can't at least, um, that's, that's something that's gonna make you just stop altogether, right? So the onion technique, what is it? Why does it matter? And how is it gonna be applied to you in your weight loss journey? Well. With the onion technique, I do this little circle right here. And I'm sorry if it's like uh, inside out for like the people on Instagram, but, um, and you can probably see the reflection from my window, but you know what? It doesn't matter. I'm just gonna go with the flow. So, power of why. You've got an onion, right? This outer layer is your onion, right? You start taking the layers bit by bit until you get to the center, right? That center is what we need to get to, to develop basically our holy grail. It's there to develop our core beliefs. We have that center as the true meaning behind why you are trying to lose weight, okay? 
okay, or why you're trying to go for that promotion, why you should take that job, why you should save that money, right? Um, why you should get into that relationship. Whatever the case is, you can apply this. And I promise, once you see this, and it's gonna open up so much clarity that you didn't even realize before. And chances are, it'll add a little extra layer, <laughs> pun intended. It's gonna add an extra layer to your, um, to your motivation and to the reason why you're doing things, okay? So, I'm gonna take this example and we're gonna go from the outer layer, which is the top of the main onion, and we're gonna get deeper and deeper. And how, how do you do that? Well, you just ask the question, why? It sounds super easy, super simple, uh, and it actually is pretty difficult when you, come, when you try to wrap your head around it. So I'm gonna use some examples. The one that is pretty common for a lot of people is wanting to lose 20 pounds, all right? So I'm gonna come down here and we've got our goal. Why do you want to lose 20 pounds? Okay, why? If you ask yourself this and you're like, okay, that is a, a goal I have, the 20 pounds, that's gonna take a while to get to it. That's not something that's just gonna happen overnight or happen in one month. No matter what pills you're looking at or supplements, you're not gonna get there in a month. So, losing 20 pounds, it's a goal, right? Well, why do we want that? Maybe it's to fit into our clothes again. Maybe you're struggling to fit into those jeans. Clothes. Maybe it's clothes, right? We go one step down, okay? Sorry for my handwriting, it kinda sucks. But why do you want to fit into your clothes better? Maybe it's that you want to look good, right? Feel good, feel confident, right? So we're gonna have Confidence, all right? So, we went from losing 20 pounds. Now we realize that we want to feel more confident. This is pretty, pretty um, dull when you look at it this way, but I promise you, it will be, it'll work. Um, okay, so when you say that you wanna feel confident in your clothes, you wanna feel good, you wanna look good, why do you wanna feel confident, right? Ask yourself this, every single person is gonna have a different reason to their why. Why do they wanna lose 20 pounds? If you've got a family, your children, your future could be applied there, right? If you're single, maybe if you wanna lose 20 pounds so that you can get a promotion, so that you can find a good relationship, be healthy, I don't know, whatever it is, everyone has a very different why and everyone has a different core belief system. So I typically recommend getting about five questions deep, five layers, right? So con just keep asking the question, why? Five times, typically what happens is we're going from our conscious mind, writing down on this is like wobbly, so bear with me. We're going from our conscious mind all the way into our Subconscious mind. Okay? This is what is really hard for us to grasp, right? And when we try to lose weight, we typically fall because we haven't tapped into this. But this is what drives every behavior choice, every decision that you make. Okay? So, think about that for a second. If this drives everything, but you haven't become aware of what that is, what your core beliefs are, what's gonna happen? Well, you're just gonna fall back on your regular behavior patterns. And you're just going to become, you're gonna fall back on the easy habits that you have built over time, whether they're good or bad, okay? So we need to get to that. That's extremely important for us, okay? In order to maintain consistency and motivation. So back to this question. Why do we wanna feel more confident? Okay, 
something that I've heard a lot of my clients say, and I think this can be applied. I want to feel more confident so that I can walk out and be confident in public, right? I want it to transfer to other parts of my life, right? So I want to be able to transfer this confidence to work, family, etc. right? You want to transfer that. Why do you want to be confident at work? Why? I mean, most of, you can just go day by day. I feel like a lot of us are robots. Sometimes you get into the office, you sit down, you do your job, you do what's asked of you, and then you probably leave and you forget about the day, right? You just go back home. But for the person who cares about that confidence, why do they care about that confidence at work? Sounds like they may be struggling at work. Maybe they're struggling and they want to be more successful and get a promotion, right? So think about it. Promotion, okay? Many people would not tie losing 20 pounds to success in their career, right? But without knowing it, you probably are doing something very similar to that, okay? That promotion is the reason why you are fighting so hard with this goal. You want this, but you know you need to do this. You think that they're not related, and yet all of this is part of your life, right? You want to be more successful. You want to have nicer things. You want to maybe not live paycheck to paycheck, right? And all of that can come from and stem from the confidence you feel from losing that weight. Maybe that's you. Maybe not. Let's do another example real quick. Okay. I challenge you guys to do this for yourself. And what I challenge you to do is do short-term and long-term goals. What I'm currently doing is more of a short-term, I mean, more of a long-term situation, right? Losing 20 pounds is a long-term, right? Because um, it's not going to happen overnight. So, for example, now, losing 20 pounds. Okay, we want to lose 20 pounds. Why do we want to lose 20 pounds? Maybe this person feels like they're so tired all the time, right? And they don't, they're not able to do the daily things that they need to do in their life, like their chores at home or playing with their kids, right? They're too tired. is a big one, right? Why are they too tired? Why do they not want to be too tired? And what is important to them that's going to change if they have more energy in their life? Maybe it's because they want to keep up with their family. They're, they have little kids and they want to have fun with their kids, right? Play with kids. about playing with their kids I mean chances are I'm not a mother so I don't really understand obviously but I I do get it you want to be able to play with your five-year-old who's constantly running around has tons of energy so why do you want to play with your kids it could be a whole lot of things maybe it's to give them a better childhood a childhood that you didn't have or maybe it's a childhood that you had that you want to replicate the best parts of right childhood for your kids All right, one, two, three, four. We got our last one, our last goal right here. Why do we want to have, or for our kids to have a better childhood? We want to build stronger relationships maybe with our kids, right? Our family, a strong, tight-knit community, right? That's a really common answer that people don't really feel like they, they understand. Okay, how on earth was I able to take 20 pounds that you wanna lose and tie it to strong relationships, right? It, it's, uh, it can be challenging to like come up with that thought process, but if you look at your why and understand the power behind that, 
the reason why you want to do something, the reason that you're unhappy in the current state of your life, you're going to get a much better result from your weight loss goals, all right? You're going to get a much better result in your day-to-day -day life, in work, with your family, with your significant other. This whole thing ties into one another, okay? So your goal is to make sure that you take what's consciously out there. Usually I call these like your perceptions, right? And this is how we see ourselves. What do we see in ourselves that we're not happy with? Or maybe we are super happy, right? And we wanna replicate that in other parts of our life. But what? how do we view ourselves? Usually that's like, I'm fat, I need to lose weight. I don't look as good as other people. Whatever your, your, the thing you're telling yourself in your mind is. And then, what we look from that to this, like to get there, we typically look at behavior patterns that we do on a day-to-day -day basis, right? So the day-to-day -day is that you're too tired. You're constantly low energy. You can't play with your kids, right? Your day-to-day -day sucks. You come home from work and you just like eat some fast food and then you go to bed, right? Because you have no energy, okay? so. Those are the behavior patterns and the habits that you're creating to tell yourself to justify your perception of yourself, okay? And then the deeper that we get into this, we start looking at what do we internalize as important to us. Well, we internalize, we think ch childhood for our kids is super important, right? It's extremely important to the development of their brains their relationships with other people, right? And that is something that you value internally as important to society, important to you and your family, right? Same as the example before. You want the confidence. Confidence is something that you value intrinsically inside yourself. You think it's important to have confidence because you think the confidence is gonna lead to bigger and better things. That's an important value that you place on your surroundings, on yourself, right? So we go from perception, how we view ourselves, right here. How do we view ourselves? Down into the habits and behavior patterns that we create to justify that. Down into our intrinsic values and what is important to us, right? And that's how we get into the center of the onion, which is our core belief system, okay? So I recommend you doing this all, like you can even have multiple reasons. Maybe you're too tired and low energy and you wanna have, like you maybe you want to have that energy for your kids, but you also wanna have it maybe to travel, see more of the world, maybe with your friends outside, you know, be able to do fun, whatever it is. If you can have multiple ones, at that point you're creating more of a spider web, but either way, it's really important, okay? So I really stress that this is something that's going to like really control a lot of your decision making skills. So once you master this, once you like sit down, I think it should take you maybe like 20 to 30 minutes. And I think like, I wrote this like super easy, but like, Go through it and like write a lot more, like a couple paragraphs maybe on each one. And just ask yourself the question, why? Why is gonna help you out? It's the simplest question, it's three letters, and somehow it determines the success of our weight loss, it determines the success of our family relationships and our work relationships and everything that you want in life. So, Definitely go through the onion peeling technique. The power of why is super, super powerful. So I want you guys to really take this seriously, okay? If you guys have any questions, I can definitely um, answer them. Just send me a message and um, we can kind of talk a little bit more about this and how to apply this if you're struggling or you just literally don't know how to answer these questions for yourself because there's some techniques to, to get deeper and deeper um, if, you, if you're struggling with how to do that, right? Um, all right, guys. Well, again, ask me if you have any questions and have a good day.